They've sunk an enemy destroyer. Hey team, it's Ripper here. Hope you guys are doing fantastic today. I finally got the Mecklenburg and this is my review of it, my take on it, and a really, really fun game. I really, really enjoy this ship. TLDR, this is a rec definitely recommended ship to get. It's available for steel. There's a get coupon out there for uh, steel ships and coal ships, I believe, and resources. So take advantage of that during the season, as well as it's a season for uh, Santa crates and discounts and uh, everything, whatnot. It's a great time to buy ships. I got two ships during the season uh, just by saving up steel, having coal, and using the coupon. So let's get to it, Mecklenburg. But, but, oh, wait, before we begin, thank you guys for all the support you guys have done for the channel. We're on our way to 900 subscribers right now. We passed 800 about a week or so ago, and we're just having a blast learning about sailing ships, shooting ships, talking about building the community, having a blast, and we're, you know what? We're just having a great time. Uh, just meeting new people, uh, sharing ideas, giving tips of the trade, tactics, techniques, procedures, whatever we can do to help each other uh, to get better, have fun, and build a community. So anyways, let's get back to it. Mecklenburg, which is the German uh, battleship line, but it's a slight little bit different. I think it's a little smaller uh, than a battleship per se. It's more like a battle cruiser because when you line this thing up against like a, 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 was a Prussian or a GK or a um, you know, big one of those Hanover battleships. Dude, this thing is actually teeny compared to one of those big German battleships. And it, it really is like a battle cruiser per se because what? It has 16 305 millimeter guns. Yes, it is a big, big, big battle cruiser. And we're firing HE right now. Just watch the fire damage this thing causes. And, and really, it's really devastating when you're nosed in shooting at a big targets like this Hanover here. And boom, look at that. Taking that about eight what is it eight five penetration is about six to eight k damage right there and notice that this is a full secondary build because i figured why not and we have guns for it it doesn't have the greatest secondaries in the world like the gk or the um ruprecht or the schlieffen uh but this is what it, it still reaches out there i'd rather have guns firing uh, rather than not you know it seems like if it can get up to 12 kilometers why not shoot at 12 kilometers and just start firing all your guns no matter what that's what you know weaponry uh, is designed for so why not shoot it uh, rather than just like be a stagnant target and look at the handover he's already unleashing his secondaries but again he's realizing oh my gosh there's four or five ships on the this side we are going to burn him down like crazy and look at all those shells 16 shells something's got to give and bam there's our first fire all that damage right now 19,000 damage already on this Hanover and we're just getting started and then we're going to go ahead and drive in slowly again we're not going to push in all the way to maximize a secondary build but we're going to get better position and better angling if the closer we get more uh, more guns on target better dispersion uh, again the secondaries like I talked about are fun they're not the greatest like the GK or the um, the Schlieffen but these things have 32 millimeter pin they reach out to 12 and a half and they fire really quickly so I still like it, but the bread and butter of this ship is the 16 305 millimeter guns, which you're seeing working the action right now, banging on all cylinders. And let's see if we can nail this final shot. Will we get the death blow? Unfortunately, not. We did not get it. Is what it feels like to be a hero. Are we going? So, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and push in. And uh, 
Let's see here. Uh, we can take some shots. Again, the armor is not the greatest on this thing as well, but if you nose in pretty decently, uh, it, it can absorb damage. Now, I wouldn't recommend brawling with this thing. This thing does melt and burn like all GKs as you just saw a Hanover burning down like crazy. Even though he's got great seconders and all, if you're focus fired or you're in there with the burning, yeah, you can't survive. Now, what I do like about it is the concealment. The concealment is decent if you build for it. It's about 13.9, about 1.4 kilometers right outside the secondary range. And we can take advantage of this swift and silent perk, which really, really is awesome. Getting this thing up to 35-ish knots, uh, moving like a battle cruiser, really, really awesome. I really appreciate the speed and the ability to move and maneuver around like a cruiser uh, but we have so many guns it's really really awesome and we can really get into position especially when we're helping out our other cruiser the annapolis so right now the game is this is the um what's it called center map i forgot what it's called it's it's i think it's where you pick up perks and and uh you know power-ups and whatnot but we're there to cap the center eventually in about a one minute and 56 seconds uh and that is what the game really is designed around but it gives us these boosts and power-ups that most likely you don't normally get in a regular game or clan battles or whatever but it increases your sips ability really really well again especially the reload rate the reload rate on this ship is amazing uh if you can see right there when we fire 20 second reload for 16 battleship style guns i mean this is really awesome missouri making a mistake here going pushing in towards a secondary uh mecklenburg as well as having annapolis shooting on the broadside not the greatest look our secondaries are already popping off right now again i'd rather have secondary shooting rather than not why have them on the ship if you're not going to shoot right and we get a couple other four pin hits right there and we're going to slow down and the maneuverability on this thing is okay it's not the greatest but it does what it needs to do for the size of this ship i mean it can turn it can speed up slow down just great especially with the swift and silent really really good maneuverability in that aspect but other than that i mean this is a big hunk of chunk battleship right Let's see if we can get this final death blow kill right here. And ooh, somebody took down Ohio. And there goes the Missouri taking that bomb of the Annapolis. And we are gonna head go ahead full throttle push forward. Okay, so our strategy right here is to see those three ships to the south, the Slava, the Yoshino, and the Montana. We're gonna see if we can help our Annapolis push forward because why? We're a good teammate. Annapolis is requesting for help. So we're gonna go ahead and push forward and see if we can provide good support. And uh, let's see if we can also get positioned because if we stay near the center of the map, once that center area appears, we'll be in prime position to help cap it as well as take out the enemy team to the south. About 12 minutes into the game, 54,000 damage. Secondary hits, we got two, yay. Still full secondary build. I'm showing you what it can do. Again, your choice if you want to build into more of a fire prevention kind of style battleship, survivability. It works just great. I just like secondaries shooting rather than not. And again, if you're gonna burn you're gonna burn i mean i have fire prevent prevention on this ship but again there's nothing no perk you can add that really can just stop people shooting for you it just takes good positioning maneuverability situational awareness and talking with your teammates to figure out what we're going to do what are we going to do next our next target is going to be the montana montana showing full broadside here and we're seeing we can knock out the yoshino at distance but again the dispersion on the mecklenburg is not the greatest if you notice some of my shots right here as i take a shot to start a fire and switching to ap for a broadside battleship switching to ap we're going to see if we can start a fire with it. Ooh, Montana took a massive hit right there. Great job right there. Now the Montana doesn't look as scary anymore. And looks like we may be able to take down this Montana with the Annapolis. So we miss all of our shots right there. Notice that last shot we fired. Eight guns in front. Although there's eight guns in front, none of them hit. So again, wonky dispersion, not the greatest. So let's see if we can push in and see. Ooh, no, over pins? Wow, three over pins and non-penetration. Again, these 305 millimeter guns are weird. They're not the biggest, but they do start a lot of fires, and they do punish when you're really, really up close. So I would say this is a good brawling battleship with 20-second reloads, secondary build. It, it's good, and he's got six-kilometer torpedoes like the Germans do, but again, it's not the greatest at long, medium, long range. You got to get in there and push and, and push the, the, the threat. Like I said, unfortunately, in this meta today, man, if you push, you're going to suffer some onslaught of burning here. With our angling right there, we see we can deflect some of the Montana shots. Oh, and here comes the Slava. Okay, what we're going to do to decide is we got to kill the weakest ship right now and get him out of the game. Two guns is too much for us. We're going to see if we knock out one. That means we got a two to one advantage if we do. So we got to get this Montana out of the game. So we're going to have to show a little bit more broadside to get all 16 guns. And we see we can elect to burn down the Montana. And he's shown a lot of angling. So that means we're going to have to shoot his superstructure with all these shells. 
Ooh, we deflected a good a number of shots from Montana. See if we can get this last shot off. And there goes the kill. Splash one. RIP back to Porty Montana. He's down. And we have Torps on our left, making sure that we are aware of that. But we also have to angle at the Slava right there. Here's the torpedoes. We got to make sure we are not going to hit those. And we're going to switch to HE to push this Slava because I know he has some weak armor uh, near the superstructure. And he burns really easily. But his guns do pack a wallop, so we got to make sure we're going to have to maintain angling and keep maneuvering to make his shots more and more difficult. Now, the cool thing is the Annapolis is taking a lot of those shots because he looks like a more juicier target, if you will. But we're going to keep firing HE and start. There's one fire right there. HP endpoint buff increased, and we got the secondaries going off and see if we can start more and more fires. 32 millimeter pins, which means if those shells hit the superstructure of the Slava, they are getting full damage right there. So look at that. We're getting 500, 500, 1,000. I mean, something better than nothing is what I like to do. More guns firing equals more damage output. It gives you a better chance of survivability and get this guy out of the game. My goodness. And now he's hugging the corner like most players do. But you know what? Let's. I probably would have done the same thing in this situation. I mean, you, you just got to do what you got to do with, with your given. We shoot again the superstructure with our HE cells. is great. Again, great reload. 16 guns. I'm not afraid to show a little bit of cheeky broadside. And where is he firing? They go past it. Again, he's still shooting at the at Annapolis. We're going to take advantage of this. Fire all our main guns right there and see if we can knock out this guy and secure the game. Come on, let's get another kill right here. And will this do it? No, Sir Rebob. 4,000 HP. I'm not afraid to show his broadside right now because why? We got to turn back towards the center of the map and he goes down. Way to go, Annapolis, burning him down. And again, our turn is committed to the center. We got to get back to the center. Now, look at this. We have eight minutes left, 108,000 damage already with three ships against our four with an aircraft carrier. So what can we do right now? We're going to have to mitigate as much damage as possible. We got 84,000 HP. It looks like we can take on this uh conde we've got the mont what is it midway i believe that's another Mar oh that's a marlboro okay so marlboro is first of all low health but i'm not afraid of the marble because he is a, a tier or two lower than us i believe i believe i believe a marlboro is a tier eight because i do believe I do believe playing a marlboro in tier eight before but uh, I don't remember. Anyways, let me know what you think below. I think the Marble is an okay ship for that tier. But, man, when you're going against a Mecklenburg tier 10 battle, you're up tier. This is just not fair, especially with super ships. Maybe the Marble is tier 9 because if a super ship's available in the game, I think you can only have a spread of 3. Let me know what you think below uh, if I'm wrong. And there we go. We got a nice juicy broadside right there. We're going to switch to AP. Now, the AP in the uh, Mecklenburg is pretty deadly, okay? So 16 guns shooting AP. I don't care if they're 305 millimeters. They hurt no matter what with 16 of them hitting at you. Dispersion does not help us right there. RNG doesn't like us. Those shells go wonky off the rail. Now, we got to have to contend with a Conde and a Marlboro at the same time. So... We got to keep an eye on the Kana because that thing is a, I believe it's a super ship that is at very, very deadly burst fire mode. So, I mean, if we take a, if we got to be careful our broadside, but if it gets a burst fire on us, we could take some serious, serious damage because those guns can knock out battleships, ladies and gentlemen. So we got to watch out right there. The aircraft carrier is also going to pester us, but the cool thing is we have defensive fire on this ship, which does, I would say, the best it can do for what AA is in the game. Ooh, take a quick pot shot at Conde. Hopefully he doesn't turn away. Now, look at this. The AA, a lot of flat clouds and everything. We're doing some damage, but again, not the greatest, especially against a Midway, which I think is just an, an okay battleship now with super ships and crazy other crew, or, uh, CVs in the game. I'm sorry, not a battleship, a carrier. Uh, CVs in the game now with super carriers and everything, they're way more powerful than the Midway. So Midway doesn't scare us as much anymore, especially when you got like things like the Makamov and the United States. Uh, those are scary. But we're going to keep on pressing. Good thing we saved our HP. And again, at the top there, they have a health regen. Uh, now, we don't have it on our side. Nobody got it for us. But slowly, our ship should be healing if we get one of those buffs. But we don't. Ooh, nice broadside marble. Do we take it out? This should be a death blow. And no, we don't. But we do take out about 11 to 12k off his health. Secondaries are firing away right now. See if we can knock out 6k health. Only 6,000 health left. Let's see if we can get this nice, yes, there it is, right there. Hakuru takes a torpedo hit. Deadly, deadly strike. Way to go, Hakuru. Midway's taking a torpedo run at us on our right side here. Our starboard, I, I believe, nautical terms. Very bad at that. 
and we have a broadside condo. So we're gonna keep our guns facing to the left and we're not gonna worry about the carrier. Let's worry about getting rid of the condo so the rest of our team can cap and we'll pursue the midway as well. Again, I'm always thinking two steps ahead. Where are we gonna be next? So we take a shot at the condo. Again, fast reload, 16 guns, eight up front, eight in the rear. And now, Ooh, very nice broadside right there. Again, we look at that reload. We got reload, we're the first gun shoot, now the second back turret shoot. We're gonna keep shooting, and nice, Citadel right there, 19K off, does the second salvo, get some more, and they get about 8K damage. It's okay, we're on fire. We save that damage con for when we get two fires or more. There it is, two fires, we're gonna fire another salvo at the broad, the, uh, sorry, horizon line, or I'm sorry, the ship water line, and this should be the death blow right here. Come on, come on, get that Citadel. Ouch, sorry for the lag, ladies and gentlemen. That server was really, really busy. So the lag is a little atrocious, but hey, we're firing as best we can. We record best we can. And boom, splash two RIP back to party, taking out the Conde. We are still in the lead. And it looks like the Mecklenburg, if we can survive, these carrier attacks can survive. And we're going to try to cap the rest of our team. Turning on defensive AA fire to prevent these dive bombers from taking us out. But it still gets one bomb run off on us. That is ridiculous. I mean, the amount of AA guns on this thing should have knocked out those planes. But you know what? AA, again, it is what it is. We spot the midway. We're going to take some nice AP shots at him, see if they get. And we got the secondaries going to blaze. And boom, look at that nice hit right there. Five pins, and can we seal the game right here? If we can take out this carrier, this would be a nice, beautiful target right now. Again, sorry for the lag. At the end of this match, it seemed like the, the either the server or the, the internet latency was pretty, pretty bad, but I'll tell you right now, we pretty much win the game. Our secondary Luchens uh, re, uh, activates. We get nice secondary reload boost, and hey, the game is not laggy as much anymore. Looks like we may get get this carry and win the game while our other two teammates cap but anyways hope you guys like the video please like subscribe bell button below if you love to support the channel we've already hit 800 subscribers on our way to 900 and uh, really excited about that i mean we're on our way to ultimate our goal is a thousand really 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 cool to make that accomplishment and we're just going to keep on pressing right here and the midway's running we just need another heal so we don't die to the second run of dive bombers but look at that second is are firing main guns are firing we got eight up front the rear guns don't need to be in action right now we just keep firing with a great reload great reload buff in this uh this style gameplay and does it take out this yeah, we barely got it one more hit come on one more shot one more shot dive bombers coming in dive bombers coming in can we do it shots in the air and do we get it do we get it Mecklenburg Fire Splash 3 RIP back to Porty and that is how the cookie crumbles. Hope you guys liked the video ladies and gentlemen. Mecklenburg definite must 243,000 damage, 3 kills and this is how we play it. Really really awesome full secondary build, number 1 in the team. Again, if you like to build it for fire prevention, more of a sturdy gun, uh, armor build, survivability, you can. I like the full secondary build, but that's the video. Hope you guys like it. until next time. You guys stay safe. Cheers.